Hi, welcome back to the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships from Copenhagen and on to our third of our uh, demonstrations, as it were, which are marked for technique, content. This is not fighting. To demonstrate pre-arranged sequences as indicated by the referee. And this is the final of the men's mixed duo games between Germany and Belgium. Germany in the red belts and Germany leads off series one with these pre-arranged demonstrations. This is the gripping attacks they lead off with. Mix of karate, judo and most martial arts here, which is what jiu-jitsu is about. It's all the fighting techniques you can think of. And there, Germany scores 24 points in the first of its series. Belgium now come out. That's a grip to the two shoulders there. Grip from the side, wrist uh, turn, twist underneath to the ground, face down, back down, makes no difference in jiu-jitsu. Whichever way they land, it's meant to hurt. Although they're doing it on a soft mat, series of blows there to the body and drop to the ground and a, a temi strike on the ground. And that makes uh, 25 points, so Belgium goes into the lead with one point after series one. Now Belgium stays on to go into series two. They look to the referee to indicate what they've got to do. Got to be alert here, they've got to know what uh, exactly is the uh, the referee is indicating. No confusion, they should know automatically what the attack's going to be and what the defence is going to be. Adds a certain amount of realism to this, it's not totally pre-planned. Round the neck from behind, twist through under the arms, drop to the ground, punch to the head. Strike follows strike, throw follows strike. And scores there are 24 points. Now Germany comes out. If we indicate what's the series, it's body grapple attacks from the front. There's the Makikomi wind over and the elbow strike to the solar plexus. Round the neck from behind, twist round, kick, Irish whip, and punch to the face. Round the head, reverse chancery, and tie Toshi to the ground, and face down, arm up the back, and a strike. So, Belgium in the lead at this point, and this will decide whether after Series 2, whether that will change or not. So that's 24 points to Germany, and still Belgium remains in the lead. Germany stays on. There's a foot sweep down to the ground, followed by a strike. Uh, wrist throw there, or wrist lock into a throw, you don't go over, the wrist breaks, and there's a sweep, under the kick, to drop the partner to the ground, Kung Fu type move there, uh, that's a nice high score, 26 points, I make that one, so that, uh, we have to wait for Belgium to come out to complete Series 3 to see where that puts Belgium. Belgium currently in the lead, but after this one, we'll know whether Germany will have managed to creep ahead with that good score there from before. Kick there, followed by an inside leg hook. Ochigari, throw to the ground. Punch, double arm, shoulder throw there, followed up by Juju Katami, arm bar. And there's a bit of a hard kick there to the side of the face see the head move. They're not, they're not meant to uh, make hard kicks. So Germany scored 26 points before, and so that makes uh, 24 points. So one point lead now for Germany. And now into the full series. Knife attack this time, knife thrust to the stomach. Series of twists and moves, knee on the back of the neck. Belgium in the white gear. And that's a side uh, 
thrust with a knife. Locked. You see this follow a more or less similar pattern. So it's 24 points there for the Belgians. So it's uh, pretty close there. And now the Germans see if they can maintain their lead to take the gold medal. And that's certainly some realism there. They're piling each other into the mat. These attacks have got to look realistic. Not meant to look sort of feeble or too posed. Certainly this is much faster and more focused than the Belgian uh, last series. And now the knife. Knife thrust to the stomach. Wrist grab over and arm lock at the end. And back to their places. Well, that certainly looked a much better score there than the Belgians. And yes, that's a good score, 27 points. That's one of the best scores we've seen in these duo games so far. So that gives Germany 101 points against Belgium's 97 points. So Germany there wins the men's duo jiu-jitsu games. Bronzes in this event went to Denmark and France. There you see some of the action in slow motion. You see a little bit better. Now we go on to the actual jiu-jitsu fighting. Now this is done two rounds of two minutes. And they start off, it's in three parts. They start off with punches, kicks and punches, which must be from the throat down to the groin. No punches or kicks to the head or below the groin. And then if they score an Ippon, uh, and then after that they have grappling attacks, which is what you see now, and then the third part is where they go to the ground and they fight on the ground. Now, the referee can break it at any point if it gets passive and stand them up, in which case they start with the punch attacks first. So, Ippon scored in any of the three parts, make an outright win, the match is stopped. Or if in the first round one competitor gets 14 points ahead, then that will also win the match outright. So there now, a one-point penalty given to Germany for gripping and punching at the same time. Once the grip is taken, the punches and the kicks have to stop. And now, it's a German girl there in the red belt looking for a strangle, settling in. Oh, the referee stands it up. It looks like it's going nowhere. He'll stand it up. Curious mix of uh, judo and karate in some of these uh, jiu-jitsu championships. So the attempt by the uh, jiu-jitsu, of course, is combat systems, unarmed combat systems. It originated in Japan. Earliest uh, jiu-jitsu school in Japan was uh, Takeuchi School, 1523 or so. Goes back centuries. Jiu-jitsu in turn, based partly on sumo. But uh, there were many styles of jiu-jitsu in Japan by the time it began to modernize, modernize in the late 19th century. There were over 150 jiu-jitsu styles. Each practiced, each master, pushing his own particular brand of what he thought was realistic combat styles. Well, this one, very popular all over the world. And now, as usual, it's the... They start with the open position, and they're going for the punches first, punches or kicks, and the groin to the throat, nothing above or below that. And then it goes into the judo. And we've seen the German girl penalised. Uh, and then another passivity there, which uh, gives a point to France. And now you see French girl there, looks like she's lining us up. And there's a good throw, now that was an Ippon. And she's settling in for the grapple attack on the ground. That's the Osai Komi. Many of the words, same as judo. So she's locking in tight now. She can get this, continue this Osai Komi. That should give her a full Ippon. And a two-point score in parts one to two and three. And that will give her the match. So she's hanging on there. There was a good throw. The Ippon and now locking in on the ground. Uh, the girl... Uh, Simone Schmidt-Jacobs from Germany underneath, unable to get out. 
And winner there by full upon to Annabelle Rady of France. So there's the final score. Bronzes went to Rosenwanger of Denmark and Gasco of Spain. So a hard-fought match there. But stay with us. We'll be back very shortly with the jiu-jitsu free fighting. Hello, welcome back to the under 62 kilo women's category, category, category between Katrin Berger of Germany in white and Patricia Hackens of Netherlands in the red. Three parts to these uh, fighting competitions. Start off with kicks and blows, then into grapple attacks. Once a hold's taken, they have to stop kicking and punching. And then points are awarded for taking the person, the partner, the opponent down to the ground and then finishing them off on the ground. So there's girls after the opening skirmishes with the kicks and punches. And that's a, a drop down there. There are three judges, two mat side referees and the mat referee in the center there. They have to come to a majority decision. So indication there was that the score there, the knockdown to the ground was only partially effective. So only one point given for that. It has to be a majority. So there's the red band on the mat referee's hand indicating the score to the German girl. And then locking in on the ground, looking for strangles or arm locks. Submissions from arm locks or strangles. Include the match. But the uh, throws, takedowns, and the punches and kicks, not so. Three point score for a tap out from an arm lock or a strangle. And there's some, uh, not allowed to punch the face or the kick. If they hit too hard to the body, to the target, they'll get uh, penalized and disqualified if they do it too often. There are some serious penalties which merit outright disqualification, such as anything that will damage the uh, spine. Attempted a throw there by Katrien, or rather Patricia Hekens from the Netherlands. And there she is settling in on top. No, nope. referee stands them up. So a lot of action here. Quite difficult, uh, as with some of these karate things, since the blows have to land short, you don't see the body fall to the ground or too much blood. So it's, uh, it's a subjective decision between the uh, three referees as to whether the blow was effective or not. And, of course, blow follows blow. Now they grip up, and the blows have to stop. And they have to look for the transition to the ground. Either a heavy throw flat on the back, or indeed not on the back, just a heavy throw down, and there's a throw. So that's scored uh, by Hekens of Netherlands. I was at Ari there which is a one point, two points for a Nippon, one point for a Waza'ari. Which is not quite uh, there as a technique. Well, it's neck and neck with the scores at this point. Girls, uh, both girls have been following each other with the point scoring. One to Netherlands, one to Germany as they go along. And it's fairly open match this, not too much grappling, quite a lot of kicking and punching going on. And White there, Katrin Berger of Germany looking a bit uh, tired in those skirmishes. Now at the end of the match we can see it's uh, 10 points each, but in that case the winner is the one who scored the most number of Ippons. And that, uh, by my count here, there was an Ippon for Germany with a Ushiro Mawashi Gedi. That's a, a rear roundhouse kick. So, gold there goes to Germany. Katrin Berger of Germany. Silver to Patricia Heckens of the Netherlands. And bronzes to Gasalich of Austria and Tukan of France. Now we go on to the under 70 kilo. Final here between Judith de Vert from the Netherlands 
in white. She's against Sophie Albert of France. In red. So these, uh, all these fighters, ah, that was a nice strike there. Haito Uchi, two points to France. Ridge hand strike. To the Dutch girl. Now into the grapple attacks. Some of these competitors, uh, oh, in fact, most of them train separately. They'll uh, do a bit of judo training and then some karate. Then, of course, they all practice their uh, mixed duo, their pre-arranged tacks. Now the Dutch girl there, Judith de Wert, looking for the arm lock against Sophie Albert of France. But uh, France ahead at this point with uh, the ridge hand uh, strike. That's two points. If it's, uh, there are three sections, as I said before. There's the kicks and blows to start with, then the grapple. That's when they've got to try and score from throws or takedowns. And then on the ground, submissions, arm lock strangles or hold downs. And if they can get Ip on, that's uh, two point scores. In all of those sections, they win the match. So it's quite a neat way of mixing some of the main sporting martial arts now, such as uh, karate and judo. Some fighters obviously tend more towards the kicks and blows side of the match whereas others seem more content to go for the grappling. It could be said, I suppose, seeing as that uh, two of the three sections. That's another score, another high two, Uchi. That's another one. So the French girl there, racking up the scores. Not the French girl, sorry, the, uh, yes, the French girl in red. Correction there, so a series of scores. It's very close there, points-wise, both girls scoring. Uh, we see that uh, swinging round with the right hand from the French girl. There's another one. Well, it's getting close to time now. Now into the grapple attacks. Well, the French, of course, are noted for their judo, as indeed the uh, Dutch are. Dutch women, very strong in judo, so no doubt they've been trained. Well, that's the end of the match. And Netherlands goes ahead on that one. 18 points to 17, so Judith de Vert from the Netherlands gets that just with one point in the under 70 kilo category. And bronzes went to Anna Dimberg of Sweden and Nicole Sidberg of Denmark. That's the under 70 kilo category, the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships from Copenhagen. Well, there you see that swing around with the right hand, the ridge hand strike, Haito Uchi to the neck of the opponent. And now to the heavyweights. This is between Sabine Felser of Germany in red and Alda Engrant of France in white. It's over 70 kilo heavyweight category in the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. So not too much um, skirmishing there with the kicks and punches fairly quickly into the grappling attacks. French girl lining herself up for an Osedogari attack by the look of it. And there's a point. Score there. With a knockdown to the ground. One point. And now locking in over the top and locking in tight. And it's... Uh, a great, it's, a, it's an outside commie. They're not as in judo. Don't have to be back down. She's locked in tight from behind. She's controlling up. And that's two points for Germany with that outside commie, the immobilization technique. Well, Germany comfortably in the lead at this point. German girl certainly looking the stronger of the two. And Sabine. Felser of Germany there, backing off a little bit as Engrand of France piles on the pressure to try and uh, move those points up a bit for herself.
And there's a, a sweeping hip attack from Engrant. Well, there's the scoreboard there. And at the end of that match, it's 16 points to eight. And Sabine Felser of Germany takes the gold medal. Silver go to Alda Engrant of France. And bronze medals to Alicia Lasota of Poland and Jenny Brolin of Sweden. That's in the o women's over 70 kilo category. And now on to our fighting men, the under 62 kilo category from Kelly uh, Molinari of France in the red. And he's against Nils Schalhorst from Germany in the white. So quickly into the grapple attacks. Now there's a big pick up and down. That's a two point score there. Ippon scored by the Frenchman. In red, Kelly Morinari picks him up and drops him down to the ground. And now he's trying to settle in for a hold down, but uh, Charles Horst of Germany spins out of that one. But Molinari trying to finish it on the ground. A little bit of a shoulder lock there as he tries to lever the German over. The German there looking for a Haitouchi attack. Misses it. And another takedown. So locking in very close now, he's got uh, a couple of Ippons now, one more Ippon should conclude this. So he's looking for an arm lock there now, can he get that arm out? Prizing the arm out, a tap out from that will conclude the match. So he's pulling away, he should be able to take it from here, yes he's got it, he's got it and he taps out. So that's a full Ippon for... France there from Kelly Morinari, so the winner of the World Jiu-Jitsu Championships in the under 62 kilo category is Kelly Morinari of France. Well, one of our most decisive finals we've seen so far, no doubt about that. So stay with us, we'll be back very shortly after the break with more Jiu-Jitsu action.